Okay, so let me create a file called as proj1.html. Okay, I'm going to save it here. Okay, so um, Okay, um, so what do we do? Um, we will try to build some um, mini project, right? So, um, <coughs> let's first start with something simple and then slowly we will uh, get down to uh, browser-based kind of applications, okay? Um, so let's write a program to calculate um, average of, okay? So I'm going to first create this HTML design, okay? I'm going to create head. Oops. Okay. Body. We'll do some complex uh, project towards the end. Okay. So I want to find some man. Um, sum an average of five subject marks, right? So how do you define five subject marks? You can say let, or you can use constant. You know, we haven't used constant, so let's use constant. So I'm going to say yeah. constant subject one equal to say 80, okay? So mm -hmm. we will copy and paste it for five subject marks. Okay, and how to find sum? We'll say let sum equal to subject one plus subject two plus subject three plus subject four plus subject five. Okay, let AVG equal to sum by five, right? And now you can say console dot log average marks scored by the student is, and you can say AVG, right? This is a simple example. So now when I say run, okay, um, let's say I use Chrome here, but you can actually see the output in the debug console, right? You see, average mass score is 80, right? Now, yes, instead, of, yeah, instead of um, reading it five times, okay, how about I read this in a loop? Okay, I will yeah. read this in a loop five times. Why should I create um, enter marks, enter marks, right? So you can, um, actually, you know, uh, put that in a loop, but let's say for now, let it be like this. Um, I want to find the um, uh, average. Uh, average is done. Let's say I want to find grade based on this average. Okay. So let's say if you have, uh, um, if you score average greater than 90, okay. I'll put them in comment. Average greater than 90, you get grade A. Okay, 80 to 90 grade B, so on, right? So I'll say if, okay, if condition, right? So if AVG is greater than equal to 90, right? So you'll say console 
dot log grade is a correct now we have to have else okay because we have multiple condition right so when you have multiple condition we do else if right so else if if we'll also have conditions so avg greater than equal to 80 i'm going to copy this entire thing so i don't have to type again and again i'm going to say grade b right then again else if avg greater than equal to 70 okay grade c okay again i say else Sir, instead of doing this we can put in list also right different marks different subject different mark different subject means i'm printing grade now no no equal to 60 so the thing is that's what you should do when you are doing the program when you get doubt can we do it in this way you do it in this way right mm -hmm. if you get it great if you don't get it you ask me this is what i was thinking and this is not this is what i got mm -hmm. so when you are practicing that's how you will get doubt and that's how you should try different ways okay so if i say average greater than or equal to 50 okay i'm going to say average is e and else else means last option okay if nothing works you get grade f so since here average is 80 we should get grade b now i can stop it and run so see you got grade b isn't it okay if you make this as zero and zero now you run it and see what happens Oops. okay 48 score is 48 and 48 means it's less than 50 right so by default it goes to f grade yes yes sir that's easy yeah uh So um, now let's try to find, okay, in the same example, we will do body mass index, let's say. Okay, so you, you, you take input the data, okay, and um, uh, I'm just thinking, okay, the how to calculate body mass index, you take the data, right, um, uh, and we need uh, weight and height, correct? Mm -hmm. Based on weight and height, we will be able to say the body mass index, correct? So I'm going to read um, the uh, height and the weight, okay? And then we'll calculate BMI, okay? So here I'm going to say, example two, okay. So let's say your weight, okay? Let weight equal to, um, um, you know, 85 kg. Okay, so weight is 85 kg and let height, okay, height be 1.4 meters. Okay, so this is in meters and your 
weight is in kg right now i'll calculate bmi so bmi is actually given by um, um mass divided by a height square okay so i'm going to say let bmi equal to weight divided by your h e i h e i height square this is how we give square now you can say cons console dot log okay bmi is plus bmi okay simple example mm -hmm. yes. what happened it's not running okay now it's running you see bmi is this yes sir okay so we have seen how to use variables we have seen how to use if else also right you can use if else um now uh, let's say mm, let's write a program to find um, if the number is prime or not, okay, we'll write a function to see if a number is prime or not, okay. So, um, okay, so, okay, um, so tell me, okay, what information shall it take? it will take a number okay it will take a number and this number will then check if that number is prime or not okay and we'll return either true or false okay mm -hmm. function to check if input number is prime or not Okay, so I'm going to write a function here. So we say function and I'm going to say check prime. This is my function and it is going to take one number called a num1 or num, just num because one number we need. Okay, and um, this will have a return value, right? So I'm going to say let is prime equal to false okay and then i'm going to say return is prime right so i'm just creating the structure first okay now i need to call this function right so i'm going to say let the result equal to check prime check prime and I give 63 okay and if the result condition right if result here I don't have to check because it is either true or false automatically right so I'll say console dot log 
It's a prime number. Else console dot log. It's not a prime number. Okay. So here, anyway, we are passing false. So it should print. It's not a prime number. Okay. It is not a prime number because I'm passing false here. Now we'll go back and put the logic here. What is the logic? Logic is we have to divide that number okay from 2 see prime number means number that is not divisible by any number other than 1 in itself every number is divisible by 1 right. in itself so mm -hmm. I'm going to check from 2 to the mid value of that given number okay and uh, if the number is divisible by uh, by itself, I mean by the given number, then it is not a prime. So in this case, I'll assume that it is a prime. Okay, and and then I'm going to use our for loop. I've not used for loop so far. Okay, so I'm going to use for loop. Okay, how to use for loop? Yeah. What is the syntax of for loop? I equal to zero, I less. Let so that will I take equal not to zero. zero. Okay, so it will not will take not zero, take... we'll start from two. Two. Okay, and then I. Let... I... I, I left whatever number you are looking for a prime. Yeah. So, uh, so number divided by two. Okay. okay. Number, divided number divided by two. By... Okay. Okay. So number has to be a integer number, right? Hmm. Okay. So how do you get the integer number? You can give the same number. Divided if... by two, yeah. Correct? Mm -hmm. You'll simply give divided by two, okay? So start from two, go up to number by six, so 63 by two, okay? And after doing every, every time, I should be increased by one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I plus. Now, okay, right, there's a, a red marks here. If uh, oh comma sorry, it's not comma. It's semicolon. Okay. So oh. uh, let I now okay now I'm going to divide this number. Okay. If if yeah. num modulo yeah. I equal to zero. zero. If norm zero. modulo I equal to zero, it means it is divisible by I. Correct? Here are some, okay. If it is divisible by I, then we will say is prime equal to false. It's not a prime. And then we don't have to check any further. Okay, we'll just break. Yeah. Moment we find that it's we not a prime, print. we'll break it. Yeah, it is. If you want uh, that in print, you can put that log. Yeah, it is here, no? Acha, down there. So I'll start and... Okay, so 63 is not a prime. Obviously, it is divisible by 3. Now, 61. If you take 61, it's 
this t1 is a prime number right okay so this is okay uh, this is how you check if a prime number is prime or not okay now let mm -hmm. me do i'll use the same function okay and instead of checking if a number is prime or not i want to generate prime number between given two numbers okay so i'm going to say console dot log now generating prime numbers between okay i will say a start equal to 10 and end equal to let me give, take some big number 5000 and between 1000 and 5000 so now generating prime numbers between st and en <coughs> okay so what i'll do i'll run another loop for i equal to st i less than equal to en i plus plus okay so i'm taking each value and i'm checking okay if this number is prime or not if it is prime we'll print it if it is not prime we will not print it so same i'm going to say result equal to check prime but instead of 61 i'll say i so i'm checking if i is prime or not okay now if it is prime okay if result is prime okay okay i will simply print the value here which value i if if i is prime i'll print it if not i will not print it so now when i run it you see these are values between 1000 1, and 5000 which are prime numbers yeah maybe if you want to you can do we'll make it as 4500 so that we get smaller values smaller smaller list Okay, these are the values which are prime numbers between 4,500 and 5,000. Okay. Yes, sir. Is it enough or you want to do more today? No, sir. I think we'll stop here. Yes. So practice and couple of days. I will. I want to go to uh, UI and you know use HTML components also. So first couple of days we'll do, you know, uh, these problems where we'll focus more on uh, class and ob. We have not so, done class and objects today. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then we. We'll, yeah. Uh, sir, stop recording. <laughs>